said you'd never be the one to put it out. The light I see at the end of the tunnel, see the daylight creeping or a fast train coming. Good Lord, have a little mercy, please. All right. Hey, y'all. Uh, my name's Gordy Quist. And I'm Ed Jurdy. We're with the Band of Heathens, and uh, this is Vintage Guitar, and we're playing some nice vintage guitars today. Um, yeah. we're, uh, we're actually playing some of the instruments we used recording our latest record that's coming out March 17th. It's called Simple Things, and uh, we're here at the Finishing School in Austin, Texas, our home studio, where we have an embarrassment of riches in uh, vintage Guitars, amps, microphones, pre's, all the things uh, to make beautiful sound. Uh, Ed, tell us, tell us about well, that. Uh, let's look behind us here. That we have the ES three hundred and thirty. You're playing. I do have an ES, a nice Gibson ES three hundred and thirty, nineteen sixty one. No, sixty. No? I think it's a sixty three or four. Nineteen sixty-three or four Gibson ES three hundred and thirty. It's got the wide, the wide nut still on that thing, which is key. To that era. And uh, behind me here, that's a 65 or a 66 Princeton Reverb. Uh, we use that on a bunch of songs and that's just, uh, that's kind of, yeah, if you only have one amp, that would be, that would do it. That could do it for you. What do you got over there, Gordon? Well, this, world? you know, this one might be my Desert Island amp. Uh, I, I don't know if this is a 61 or 62, but it's uh, a Brown Deluxe, one of my favorite circuits uh, ever made. And uh, a Holy Grail guitar. This was uh, my, my wife's grandfather's, uh, Don Bearden. This was his uh, 1952 Telecaster that um, his wife bought for him brand new uh, in early 1953. And uh, it's incredible. It's all original, nothing's been changed, all the solder joints. The neck and body are both, they've got the uh, the Tadio Gomez uh, inscription on them, and um, it's pretty cool. It probably, ideally, we'd have our amps up a little bit louder to make them sound good, but we're trying to also connect with you with our voices, so we got them turned down. But uh, yeah, lots of the sounds on our record uh, came from these guitars and these amps. Now. We're gonna do a tune for you with uh, some acoustic guitars here. Uh, what you got there, Ed? That was where I got 61 from. This is a 1961 Gibson Hummingbird. Beautiful, beautiful flame on this one here. And that, that is uh, second year of production for the Hummingbird. I think they came out in 60. The bridge has been converted, so it doesn't have the adjustable plastic bridge anymore. But I like it better that way. It's better. Um, and this is a 1932 Gibson, I think it's a, um, maybe an L single O in the ledger, but it has a spruce top and mahogany back and sides. So it's kind of like an L double, it's like the original L double O's with a spruce top. Um, but it's got the 12 fret body. So it's got a little more low end, uh, a little more balanced sounding. Um, there's actually like a 36 or 37 L double O back there that's got the 14 fret body that's a little more boxy, great for finger picking. Uh, but this one, I think they only made this model like the tuxedo finish for like six months in early 1932. This is one of my favorites, probably along with that one. Uh, all over our record. So uh, we're gonna do a tune from the record called uh, don't let the darkness. Don't let the darkness. Here we go.
Yeah. yeah. Gordy Quiss and Ed Jurdy from the Band of Heathens here. Vintage Guitar Magazine. Our new record, Simple Things, is out March 17th. Buy it at your favorite record store. Stream it. Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, wherever you stream your music. and uh, Come check us out on tour. We'll yeah. be out on the road and uh, supporting the record, doing what we do, living dangerously, live. Y'all uh, don't be strangers. Come say hey. See y'all around. <laughs>